G'day. It's Friday, first flyable day in ages here. All the paramotor pilots have been arguing on the forums because they've got nothing to do. Uh, it's nice and still. Not much in the way of wind. It's uh, difficult to know how high this lot is though. And uh, there's only one way to find out. Testing, testing. Hope this is working. I've, uh, I got a Hero 7 the other day, but typically the, uh, the audio adapter that doesn't work. So I've had to send away for another one. Got myself a lovely new bag here from Aviator over in the States. Thanks Tim for picking it up. Much better than the other one. I've got a damaged line here which is going to be okay to fly with but does need changing. But it's in the upper cascade so it means taking everything else apart to get to it. Which is going to be a job for laying out somewhere at home where I've got the room. There she is. Ozone speeds to mark 1, 28 meter. For those that were asking, stash this bag over here. That'll do. Try and land near it. Okay, we've got a little bit of moisture in the air here because of these low clouds. Hardly any wind, and I've got to take off across the width of the runway. Don't know if you can see it, but the, the radio control guys are over there, and their plane is up there somewhere. I don't know where the GoPro is pointing. Actually, I've got this new bag from Aviator because the other one was just too big and unwieldy. And this one would go in the side pocket. So perhaps I should have put it in there. What the bloody hell is going on here? Come on, guys. Loops. Loops through loops. Yeah, look at that. Bits of crap on the ground. There we go. But you never know. No, she's looking good. Yeah. Leading edge, leading edge, leading edge. Give that a kite in a second. I'm going to wait for a breath of wind to uh, pull this up and just double check all those. Looks okay. Well, that's rubbish. Okay, close enough. Close enough for government work. Yeah, that little plane buzzing around up there. Yeah, there's a little bit of. I don't want to call it rain. Yeah, I'll see what that feels like in the air. Almost heavy mist. Check again. Top. I don't know how high that cloud base is. This could be a short, short flight. It's funny. Only flyable day for ages and everyone woke up to this fog and mist everywhere. But it's not cold. It's not gloves weather, certainly not down here. It might be different up there. Ignition up for going up there. Primed already because I tested it earlier. Wing, wing looks lovely. Back. Got a coffee in there. What's happening here? Nope, we have a malfunction. That's better. Let's check that again now. That was that way. I want to turn that way. Clear to the top, clear to the top, okay. The old trimmer slack strap had gone over the gone over the end of the riser. Okay, start again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Trimmers into the line. Chin strap is seven. Lovely. Let's get this engine started. Oh, nearly first time there.
Okay, let's see if we can get this thing off the ground in this wind. It's low. I forgot to bring my sock with me. Uh, there's some flags on the top of that over there, which I'm going to rely on. Okay, centered on the wing. Get some equal pressure. Okay, let's let's have it. She's up, she's up. Looks good. Yeah, I might be going too high today. Look at that mist. Yeah, it's pretty mucky up here. Just waiting to find out my altitude, but I'm in this mist. Yeah, this is going to be a 10 minute one. I'm not going far today. But, it's my birthday. Yeah, that weather's mucky. It's muckier up here than it, than it looks. And this is having trouble getting satellites through the clouds. Oh, what a shame. I had big hopes for this flight. I was going to go over to Santa Pod Drag Strip and then over to uh, Bedford Aerodrome. Big, big airfield over there. Where I used to be. Okay. 400 feet, which isn't a lot, so. I am limited in height. I can't go any higher than I am now. It's moist up here. at the moment so let's not go too far oh well that is a shame I even bought a coffee but as it is my birthday Deserve something a bit better than coffee. Look at this, the coolest flask. Yeah, it's not, it's not the rain, but it's definitely moist up here. I think I will go down. I don't want this wing getting wet. Any really wetter than it already is. Yeah, cool. 
quick one. Oh, it's a skiddy one. Get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Tangled on helmet. Messy, messy landing. Fast. Okay. Wing upside down. Probably wet. Well, there you go. What was that? 15 minutes. <sighs> Better than nothing. After waiting for days and days and days. Oh, at least I've got a hot coffee. Yeah, that's damp. Just fall in there. It did, didn't it? Look at that. Get out of my wing. Was it worth it for a wet wing that I now need drying at home? Yeah. Yeah, it was worth it. That is quite wet. I'm glad I came down. This is what happens when you've got crap stuck on the top of your helmet. And you land like that. Rubbishly. Birthday flight. Dram of the old Glenlivet in the sky. Oh, well I have to wait. I was going to go on a flight. I've just done a bit of a service on my paramotor. I was going to talk about that. I was going to talk about uh, a big long cross country I've got planned. 250 miles over two days. It'll have to wait. I have to wait until better weather. And there doesn't appear to be any of that on the horizon. Maybe another road to Icarus thing. Start getting the cooking sorted. Start chopping up tin cans. The pain of non flyable weather. So, learn from this. If you look up, it looks like that. I had no idea how high that cloud base was from the ground. Nothing I could see around me was looking misty at height, you know, tall towers or anything. So I knew it was above that. It turns out it was about 18 inches above that. I think the, uh, the GPS said 400 odd feet and I was in the bottom of it. Oh, this is so good. Yeah, this wing is wet, look, you can see. I think that moisture in the air like that is, is, is more sort of insidious than rain at least if it's raining you you know if I hadn't if I just reached up and felt the front of my visor which wasn't over my eyes and that was sort of slick and I wouldn't have been as aware of how wet it actually was so there you go a little bit of learning on my part so job for this afternoon dry wing it's nice to have a much smaller bag, but it takes a lot bloody longer to get anything in. I need to learn the older Captain Kurt braiding thing for this bag, because there isn't as much room in the top. But for para camping, something small like this is the one. I was trying to get one from Tony, Tony Fofangers NCPPG, but he couldn't get any made in time my friend Tim being over there in the States. Oh, mess. I wouldn't pack this away like this if I wasn't going to take it straight out again as soon as I get home. Yeah, I was trying to get one from Tony, one of his pumpkins, but the cost of shipping it to the UK was the cost as much as the bag itself. So then I was thinking of getting like 10 or so off him selling them over here so then when I went to order that he didn't actually have any he was trying to get somebody in the States to make them but he hadn't found anyone so my friend Tim was over in Florida and he was popping into Aviator to see uh, Eric and Trav and those guys and he picked that one up got a first aid course tomorrow with the CM paramotors a sort of paramotor specific think so you know how to deal with fingers that have been chopped off I'd imagine okay bag is in get that motor on and go for a walk talk to this guy on the way over speak to you later bye bye